So playback, it's basically um, when you have every, every information recorded, when we have uh, the staff checking the live feed, etc. We have the recording, we have everything uh, running as normal. And then we have a situation, we have an event, you have alarm, we have a break in, you have a, an incident or an accident that we need to review and investigate. This is the time that you do the playback and uh, on the investigation process, right? So, okay, so investigation and forensic. It's one of the, the reasons that we will jump in this feature in the NVR. Again, the embedded NVRs, we can do this locally on its properly, on its you know, output, video output, we will be able to do this, but we can do in the in the softer part as well. And um, for cameras, for even for uh, home uh, installations that we have only standalone cameras, we we'll have this feature as well, the playback to review the footage. So in this investigation process, in the forensic process, we, we are trying to uh, probably identify if we can um, uh, identify a license plate, identify a, a face of a person, and, and this will require us to go through the images and identify sometimes when the issue happens. So let's assume that you not have an active monitoring and you live from your store, you know, after hours, so like let's assume 8 p.m. you close your store, go home, and then we return, you have, uh, you know, the window, you have a broken window, and you want to check the images, right, to, to see when happened, and if you can detect uh, who did this. So first, the first thing is to check when this happened. And when we go through the NVRs, or actually the old DVRs, we see here like the timeline, uh, we have the channels, etc. Here's the, the live view. Normally, in the older, in the older or in the old, install, old solutions, we, we had to watch all the, the content, all the, the recording to check when this happened. So we check, we can, we could do like a 2x or 3x speed, but we, need, we had to, to check all the time or try to uh, click in some par parts of the timeline to isolate a group of uh, hours or minutes there, but it was a very painful process. Now, after uh, the, the like motion detection, etc., events, we, we had the smart search that we could search for vectors, search for moving vectors from the, the pixels, and then we can isolate a little bit when we had like some movements and etc. But if, let's assume if it's a camera, it's an outdoor camera pointing to the front of your store, and, uh, and you have the movements from the people in the street, in the cars and etc., uh, it will be very hard to, to isolate what is the movement that generated the, the break-in in your store and the movements, the normal movements in the, in the scene. So then, when we, we use the analytics, the analytics, the, the smart motion detection, the intrusion detection, to help us as isolate you know, all the code that we have stored in actually events that you can easily and quickly find. So if, let's assume, you, if you, instead of checking the timeline of, for the events, you can check a list. Okay, so give me in the camera one, all the intrusion events. It will give a list of five or three of person that crossed an uh, area that should not cross. And then you'll be able to quickly go to the specific part that you need in your footage. Okay, so this is one part of the, the playback process to find when happened in the, in the timeline. But after it, you, you found when happened, 
normally it, it's not isolated only one camera, right? It's if it's a considerable, uh, uh, if it's not too small area, you have more than one camera. You normally have three, four, eight, sixteen cameras in the site, and then this person uh, came from the front uh, uh, area and goes to the storage and goes to other places and etc. and do a lot of stuff inside the the, the your, your store and probably at some point you'll be able to detect this person face in one of the cameras but how you do this if you don't have a way to uh, follow this person normally right if you're using uh, independent camera systems you probably can't do this we need to close one camera view go to the other camera do the playback start from the other start on the time that this person disappear from this camera and then check in this camera and do this these these two other cameras to avoid all this trouble we have the sync playback that it will basically have a, let's assume here a screen that you have all your cameras and then you click here like a button to synchronize and you have all the cameras running or playing at the same time that uh, if you, you search here for a specific event time this time will be synced with all their cameras so okay this person is leaving here this camera part and it will show on, on this other camera so it will show here and then it will leave this area and they show here so you don't need to log in or to enter in, in different cameras to follow this person in your installation okay so this is a feature that today basically all the NVRs will have available for you to do this investigation okay and basically that's the the process of playback after you you identify the person hopefully you identify the person uh, you can export uh, a picture you can export a picture uh, for embedded NVRs we can connect a USB stick it will save and that's it you you can use this picture to send to the police etc or it can export the video clip let's assume you can have a full video clip that you want to export you can do this and with the same USB stick but this video export normally uh, requires special things such as watermark and digital signature because these type of elements in the exported video will ensure that this video was not tampered and can be used in court or in any legal uh, process so depending on the NVR or in the solution or in the manufacturer, you have these options that will ensure that this clip was not tampered. So uh, we don't have any missing frames, anyone that tried to cut specific parts of this video to try to show another version uh, of their story. Uh, so this um, action here to export with this digital signature or watermark or, or whatever the way they, they call the manufacturer called this this feature uh, can be used as proof of course depending on the country uh, on legal processes